नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल द गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब हैज वॉन्ट भगवंत मान द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ पंजाब दैट ही इज गोइंग टू गेट प्रेसिडेंट रूल इन पंजाब ही वॉन्ट इम आई गोट टॉक टू अबाउट दैट आई गोट टॉक टू अबाउट वेरियस अदर इंसिडेंट्स द क्वेश्चन टू नाइट इज इज अवर डेमोक्रेसी गेटिंग मेटामोरफोसाइज टू समथिंग एल्स is kya to my mind it is and that's what i'm going to talk to you about let's get right into the show so the governor mr banwari lal purohit of punjab has warned bhagwan singh man the chief minister of punjab that listen you know what there are drug issues happening in your state and if you don't answer me you don't tell me what what you are doing about it i will get the president's rule in punjab in fact let me read out a few things what he said in his latest communication to man governor purohit indicated that he was upset over not getting reply from him for his previous uh, uh, mails and warned him that he would send a report to the president on failure of constitutional mechanism very advised uh, man to act before he takes the final decision under article 356 now the cause is that the governor's letter actually had said that he got report from various agencies about availability and use of narcotics and how it has become common that they are allegedly available in pharmacies and even in government controlled liquor shops so the issue started the very fair thing which is narcotics but based on that it has come to a stage where the governor is now talking about article 356 now uh, i will before i get into the the story more detail i will uh, tell you the last thing what he said i will tell you one more thing what the governor added the governor said before i am going to take the final decision regarding sending a report to the president of india under article 356 like i told you about the failure of the constitutional mechanism and take the decision about initiating criminal procedures under 124 of the ipc i ask you to send me requisite information it's not only about uh, article 356 that is imposing the president's rule which is imposing the center's rule it is also about going through a criminal procedure called uh, uh, under section 124 which means he will start a criminal proceeding against the government and the chief minister is what he says what has this relegated to now the point is i want to get a couple of things to your notice drug menace is a problem there is no two questions about it drug menace is a problem but the fact is it is very strange that the governor in his own isolation is doing his own investigation because he said he has said that according to the investigations that he has uh, conducted he found that there were drugs available in government liquor stores and all that he said that so parallel investigation conducted by the governor when there is an elected chief minister doesn't that sound strange number 1 number 2 don't you think this is something that has to be sat down discussed and uh, uh, sorted out both by the governor and the chief minister more importantly this is a chief minister's area of uh, of competency this is the chief minister's area of uh, operations this is chief minister's role this is not the governor's role so that's two questions which i want to ask the third question is hello two women were paraded in manipur no president's rule was imposed there why so is law different in different states the manipur governor never said that listen bjp chief minister i am going to call 356 and uh, mr biren singh i will get you uh, uh, i will also put a criminal procedure against you did that happen in manipur no but it is happening in punjab so is the law different show me the person show me the party and i will show you the law is that how indian constitution works is in this strange number 2 number 3 you see the point is why is it that every governor in a non bjp governed state has a problem with the chief minister isn't this now too obvious let me give you some more examples before i get into my analysis governor versus government in kerala the story is 
of 7th July 2023. The story is of October 25th, 2022. The Kerala governor Arif Mohammad wrote a letter to the Chief Minister Pranarai Vijayan asking him to take action against Finance Minister K. N. Balagobalan as he withdrew his pleasure upon the minister. The governor said, Isko nikal do. You take action against this minister. The governor said, Why? Because the minister made a statement. In his statement, he said that. Uh, uh, some people, that is I presume he spoke about the governor, some people who have been used to practices in states like Uttar Pradesh might not be able to understand the democratic nature of universities in Kerala. This is what he said. Governor didn't like it. Called the chief and said, hey, usko sambala. you take care of him. Take care of him. Take action against him. Are? Hello? Freedom of expression? Freedom of speech? You mean you can't criticize the governor? Is that how it works? Kerala. Which government? CPI government. Governor appointed by Bharatiya Janata Party. Let me take you through some four, few more uh, stories. Achha, you know this gentleman, Satyapal Malik, a lot of people criticized me when I, when I said that, you know, why was he different then and why is he different now? A lot of people criticized me, but let me tell you, Satyapal Malik, let me remind you. Governor Satyapal Malik on Thursday blamed the state holiday for not receiving Mehbuba Mufti's facts stating claims to form the government. But to many skeptics, the explanation seems to be like a case of facts being stranger than fiction. You see, he says that facts is not the issue. The Eid and both Mehbuba Mufti and uh, uh, National Conference leader Omar Abdullah are devoid Muslims. They should know that offices remain closed on holidays. So Malik says, I didn't get the facts, therefore I didn't make you the chief minister. Wherein Mehbuba Mufti and... Uh, National Conference, Omar Abdullah had come together and they said that, listen, we want to stay claims for to the government, government of Jammu and Kashmir. He did not allow that government to happen and till date, it is Article 356. It is the president's rule. How come? Where is law? Constitution. Where is constitution? Okay, let's go further. Let's give you more examples. Let's give you more examples. I've got a lot of it actually today. Okay. R and Ravi versus Stalin. Now, R and Ravi, he said, listen, you know what? Yeah, this, yeah, this uh, minister, no, this minister in your uh, in your cabinet who is who's got into trouble with ED, this gentleman called uh, uh, V. Santal Balaji. Yeah, V. Santal Balaji ko nikal do. I, do. I don't want him in your cabinet. Are? Stalin said, my cabinet, my ministers, how can you just sack him? How can you just go ahead and sack him? How can a governor do this? Tomorrow he will say, okay, I don't like this man. I don't like the way he looks. Sack him. Governor. Then why do you have the chief minister? N.V. Ravi, again, BJP and Stalin, non-BJP, DMK. Okay? This is Tamil Nadu. Now let's go back. Let's go to my favorite governor, Mr. Uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari. My favorite governor because my God, he, he comes from the state I belong to, that is Maharashtra. And wow, wow. In the night, he got, uh, you know, in 2019, he got the ministry made. He approved all the ministers, all the MLAs. And in the morning, we hours in the morning, he got, uh, he gave vote to uh, Devendra Fadnavis as chief minister and deputy chief minister Ajit Pawar, 2019, I am telling you not this story, 2019 story. He gave all everything done and then one fine day morning when we woke up, it was announced that Devendra Fadnavis is our chief minister. And who is his deputy? Ajit Pawar from NCP. She was saying, I and all gone. He did it. And I tell you, in fact, 31 month period since... Uh, since he has been the chief, I mean, as in 31, he was he was the governor of uh, of Maharashtra for 31 months, and this 31 months was continuously, continuously controversy driven. Everything that could constitutionally go wrong in uh, Maharashtra, unfortunately or fortunately, happened during this 31 months of his. And when he resigned, which is finally had to. He said, you know, I am too old now. I don't want to get into politics. Are you are a governor? You are not supposed to get into politics, Baba. You are a governor. But that was 
uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari. Oh, I have done a lot of editorials about him. So I am not going to dwell into more because otherwise this will be a very longish editorial. But re you see my editorials about him because his was quite interesting. Okay, now let's talk about Kiran Bedi. Kiran Bedi, remember the flag lady uh, who stood in uh, Anna movement uh, to throw out uh, UPA government and now she became governor of, uh, she stood for election in BJP uh, uh, party and she lost miserably in uh, in Delhi, then she became, uh, she was gifted uh, as governor uh, of uh, Pondicherry and you know this, not the not the political party, it is the Madras High Court uh, said that you know Pondicherry Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi cannot interfere in day to day efforts of the elected government Baba. Who said this? The, the, the Madras High Court. He can roj roj you are interfering in the chief minister's uh, uh, day to day business. How can you do that? This is Lieutenant Governor Kiran Bedi, BJP and a non-BJP chief minister. Now let's get into Delhi governor. Delhi and LG, lieutenant governor. This is the world famous. Okay, na? world famous. That Arvind Kejriwal who fought elections, who won elections and won elections massively swept the polls. That means the Delhi people wanted him as the chief minister. He is not allowed to do anything. Poll is not with him. Now they say even the IS officer, the latest, the Delhi Service Bill, uh, which is what? The National Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Bill 2023, which got passed. So now even his secretaries, IS officers report to center. He is a chief minister. God knows what he will do as a chief minister. Because who will listen to him? His entire staff reports to center. And he is there sitting there as chief minister. No police, nothing with him. Now, while it may sound all funny, let me also last, I, how, I, how can I miss out Jagdeep Dankar, our Honorable Vice President and Mamata Banerjee. The CM has several, uh, written several, that is CM Mamata Banerjee had written several letters of complaint against Governor. The primary reason of complaint slated in the letter were difficulties of the governance faced by the state government created by the Governor in the procedure of movements clearance of file calling the chief secretary and other state senior level officers on nominal issues and thereby challenging the authority of the CM. Again, same thing. Governor used to call the chief secretary and say, hey, why are you like this? Why is it like this? Why are you not doing this? Aray, then why do you have an elected chief minister, Baba? Why do you have an elected chief minister? So either you have the ruling party that is Bharatiya Janata Party as your state government. If there is not, if they do, you don't elect Bharatiya Janata Party as the state government, Bharatiya Janata Party will appoint a governor who will still run the state for you. Who will make it difficult for another party to survive in that state. Unless and until you succumb to Bharatiya Janata Party. You agree to everything what Bharatiya Janata Party says. If you agree to Bharatiya Janata Party, then they are okay with you. If you don't agree, then you have a problem. This kind of governance, this kind of governance will destroy the core sense of democracy. I spoke to you when we spoke about, you know, a chief investigation, investigating officer going to be appointed because the Supreme Court said no to extension of an ED chief. So, therefore, you create another post. So, ED and CBI both under the same uh, one person. That is the pro proposition. I spoke to you about it to you last couple, uh, a couple of days back. So, if you are going to manipulate the constitution, you are going to play with the constitution, recreate constitution, step by step, the concept of Indian democracy will change. And what you are going to soon find is you are going to soon find a single party and a single man rule. That single man and that single party will decide what is good and what is bad for this country. And what that party says and what that man says will be law. That is the fear. That is the future that we see if such acts continue and they are continuing and they are only aggravating. There is no stop. There is no stop. It's only aggravating. That's the point I wanted to get to your notice till I see you next time. That is tomorrow. Tomorrow watch my editorial. Tomorrow I have another very interesting topic. Tomorrow is Sunday. At 10 p.m. Do watch my editorial tomorrow. I'll see you then. Take care and mashkar.